Well, we begin day three of the 2016 Patriot League softball tournament, and we resume game four between Army West Point and Bucknell here from the Leadership Park in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Good morning, everybody. Adam Dobrovolsky here as the Reigns ended up suspending this game after one inning complete, no score, a pair of one, two, three innings. And as we continue here, top of the second, Amanda Fazio in the circle, the left-handed senior for Bucknell, facing the middle third of the Army West Point lineup. Gentlemen, Emily Gray, Kristen McPeak. To on start the things left -hand off, side of the press box. and the, and the third will be on the left -hand side the of the press to box. begin this second inning, Gladys Esparza the Gallegos. The for Army West Point. So First baseman number let's 14, start things Emily off, Gray. and it'll be Gray to the plate for the Black Knights. 3.55 batter now, after the game two outcome, a 3-2 loss against Boston U to start this tournament. And the first pitch taken for a strike. 50 hits and 141 at-bats now. 10 doubles, a homer, 34 RBIs. This is an elimination game for those of you just tuning in today, unable to file through the first two games. The Bison lost game one of this tournament to Lehigh 1-0. Has this pitch up the middle for a base hit. So leadoff single for Gray. Great season for her, continues as the sophomore gets on base. Bucknell lost game one to Lehigh, one nothing. Army West Point lost game two, right three fielder, two. two. So pair of one run losses. And now an elimination game. The loser sees its season come to an end and the winner moves on to face Lehigh for the next game. As the first pitch swinging, and it goes over the head of right fielder. And this should be extra bases. They're gonna wave the runner home from third. Here comes the throw to home. One hopper, play is blocked. The ball not caught cleanly. And applied to home and a one nothing lead for Army West Point as Gray a little bit slow to get up. But Kristen mid-peak with a double plus advancement to make it one nothing Army West Point. Just Short about stop, to say, number 11, loser Gladys of this Esparza game Gallegos. heads home, and the winner will face Lehigh with, I believe, a scheduled noon start time. But here it is now, the first run of the inning, and now Esparza Gallegos up to bat. Fazio first pitch and is outside for a ball. So we had one, two, three innings to start off under picking up rain yesterday. And here, single RBI triple officially. Not double advancement, triple. To make it one nothing and they called strike on the next pitch from Fazio. Amanda Fazio, the left-hander in the circle, has been a key two-way player with speed for the Bison here in 2016. Which is high for ball two. Fazio ranks atop the program record books in strikeouts, saves, games pitched, and innings pitched. Also ranks second in wins program history. Here's swing and a miss, and the count now even 2-2. Two, two. So there's no bunting there. All of the corners were in ready for it. Runner at third. And Esparza Gallegos will have a chance for another swing. Casio with the windup and the pitch. High for ball three. Well, you never know sometimes how this layoff affects players. Sometimes the fresh rest gets them ready to go, and then sometimes you feel like you're coming into the resumption not in rhythm. Early on for the Army West Point offense, it looks like the former. 
We'll have the payoff pitch coming up. The windup in the offering is slapped out to center field for a base hit. Werner had to be held until it fell in, but there will be no throw. Coming home the scores mid peak. And a 2-0 lead for the Black Knights right out of the gate. The RBI single from Gladys Esparza Gallegos. McPeak coming in the score 16, on the RBI Smith. triple. Earn her 19th run batted in of the season. Esparza Gallegos on that single, her 21st. And we'll have a meeting in the infield circle. So here we are, 2-0 the score. Army West Point and Bucknell. Army West Point, after the game two loss, fell to 37 and 19, but those 37 wins still setting a program regular season record. Army West Point varsity softball dates back to 1979. 818 program victories including 610 as a Division I program, dating back to 1991. First pitch, it's a tapper foul for Caroline Smith. Smith, a 303 batter, had a three for three day against BU. So that 289 heading into the tournament boosts up 14 points in one game. Comes the windup and the pitch. Off speed swung on, popped over to second. It'll be a P4 and now one away. So Carolina Smith retired. And coming up to bat, Maddie Kim. Catcher number 26, Kim. Maddie Kim. That catcher today. Coming into the tournament, batting 269 with three homers and 16 RBIs. Not have a hit in Army's loss against BU. And the first pitch from Fazio taken for a strike. As mentioned, Army West Point, regular season program record at 37 wins. Black Knights in search of their sixth Patriot League tournament championship. They just swung on and foul. Army West Point won the first two tournaments in 91 and 92, has followed suit since the turn of the century in 2000, 2002, and 2013. Three-time NCAA participant, one in six, the record for Army West Point in the NCAA regionals. Comes a pitch outside for a ball. And the count goes 1-2. Bucknell will have due up in the bottom of the second, the middle third of its lineup. They'll be facing Patriot League Rookie of the Year. Nice pitch, eye level high for a ball and the count even 2-2. Two, two. Poire set to be in the circle to resume action for Army West Point. Trying to add to the lead though. Pitch is swung on and wide of the bag foul, third base side. All time the series between these two programs sees Army West Point in the lead, 54 to 41, dating back to 1991. However, between the respective senior classes, the 16 meetings have been split eight wins apiece. Obviously, this the biggest of the bunch. Because one group will be playing their last game. That gets past the first baseman Kovac in the right field for a base hit. They'll advance the runner to third. The throw will be in time. So nice relay by Bucknell and Army West Point aggressive on the base paths. Esparza Gallegos out at third. So a single by Kim, already the fourth hit of the inning, but only one runner on and two outs. Center fielder number one, Ashley Yu. And Ashley Yu 
will close things out. The nine hitter in the lineup, trying to keep the inning alive and flip it over for the Patriot League Player of the Year. And the first pitch, bunt attempt, misses in a strike. Go, Ashley. Army West Point two, Bucknell zero, the score. Again, Adam Dobrovolsky here on the Patriot League Network. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. Day three, we'll see eliminations. And setting the scene as a pitch outside for a ball. Setting the scene for what is now a fourth day, the championship series, a fourth day forced due to the rain situation yesterday, which is fouled away here. Boston University won game three of the tournament yesterday against host Lehigh 6-2. Melanie Russell had a no-no through six and a third innings, so the Terriers 2-0 in the tournament thus far. They await tomorrow the winner of game five between Lehigh and the winner of this one. Another pitch for a ball. So the Terriers get to rest and scout today. Play one or two tomorrow, depending on the outcome of game six. Nice off-speed pitch. You ahead of it, swings and misses, and the inning comes to an end. But the Army West Point bats come alive. Two runs on four hits, no errors, and one left. And Bucknell do up after this break. Two nothing the score in favor of Army West Point on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. Going bottom two as Bucknell do up. We'll remind you of their lineup: Fazio, Gimistad, and. Kovac all retired in the first inning. You have Lauren Hadley, Mariah Midyet, and JC Almond to do up in this inning. And then Martinez, Andalino, and Rokos closing out the starting nine for Bucknell. Renee Pore is pitching, and you can see the field here. May Wadika out and left, Ashley Liu in center, Kristen McPeak in right, Casey McCravey at third, Gladys Esparza at short, Ali Vrashenska second. Emily Gray first, the battery Maddie Kim at catcher, Renee Poire at pitcher. Poire threw four Leading scoreless Bucknell, innings of relief four, Lauren Hadley. against BU, sub two ERA, nine and five record. And actually Poire lost her first five decisions of the year. So nine consecutive winning decisions for Pore, she's been starting and relieving this year, but nine consecutive decisions won over 23 outings. And a first pitch swing and tap foul from the Lauren Hadley. Pore, by and far, has the single season Army West Point record with 11 saves. Previous single season record was six. Pitch to Hadley, taken for strike two. In fact, Poré already ranks second in career history for the program. Ashley Christian has 12. Ahead here, though, against Lauren Hadley, a freshman batter, just under 300 batting, but here a swing and a miss, strike three, one away. And Mariah Midyet now Blue comes fielder, up to bat. Number 19, Mariah Midyet. For the Bison. Midyet, first team all, sorry, second team all Patriot League player as an outfielder. Entered the tournament batting 316 with 13 RBIs. First pitch taken for a strike as Poré looks on point to start. Also, Midyet, a member of the Patriot League all-academic team with a 3.26 GPA. Swing on the 0-1 pitch is fouled. So Poire quickly ahead in the count. Bucknell looking for its third Patriot League tournament championship. The Bison started varsity softball back in 1979. Obviously, Patriot League softball beginning play in 1991. Pitch just outside. The attempted frame did not convince the home plate umpire. A reminder, 
Your umpires at home, Danny Wolf at first, Kerry Joseph at third, Brian Sonak. Count goes one, two. Bucknell's first two tournament championships, 1997 and 2010. It just swung on and out of line, caught by Casey McCravey at third. And the Patriot League Player of the Year had a good reaction at the hot corner. Two up, two down. Two nothing, the score in favor of Army West Point. Tough to play for two days. So Midyet retired. Designated and player Casey number 10, Allman J.C. Allman. Do up. J.C. Allman, excuse me. J.C. Allman, the designated player. Came into the tournament just over 300, but had a multi-hit game against the Lehigh two days ago. First pitch swinging and a miss for a strike. Now has 31 hits over 99 at-bats, six doubles. Trying to be a two-out runner. Poiré with the windup and the pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. Army West Point, the two seed, Bucknell the four. And there's never been a four seed or lower in the 25 plus years of Patriot League softball tournament action. Here comes the pitch. Rise and swing and a miss. Strike three. Two Ks for Pore in the inning as Bucknell no goes down. No One, two, three. We'll head off to the third after this break as you're watching the 2016 Patriot League Softball Tournament Championship on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. Point began, resume play with a pair of runs, but let's formally reintroduce the starting lineup for Army as they go through the lineup second time through. Casey McCravey batting first, May Wadika second, Ali Roshenskis third. Then you see Gray McPeakin at Sparza began the second inning with hitting. Middle third, Caroline Smith, Maddie Kim, Ashley Yu to close West out Point. the lineup. Baseman, 20, Meanwhile, Casey for Bucknell, McCravey. Amanda Fazio still in the circle. Her battery mate is Christina Martinez. Outfield from left to right, Mariah Midyet, Rianne Rokos, Carolyn Wan. Infield left to right, Chaylin Andalino, Emma Gimstad, Lauren Hadley, and Megan Kovac. 2 nothing. the score, top three on the PLN as Casey McCravey will lead off for Army West Point. And McCravey takes the first pitch on the outside corner for a strike. Patriot League Player of the Year. Came into the tournament, 403 batting average, six homers, 37 RBIs, also 30 stolen bases, but an all-time great in Army West Point softball history. Pitch is high from Fazio. Entered the tournament on pace to be the sixth player in single season history for Army West Point with a 400 plus batting average. Now up to 77 hits, ranks second single season. Behind Amanda wins 85 in 2013 as McCravey takes the strike two. Career ranks second in hits, first in runs, second in batting average, first in RBIs, first in homers, first in total bases, second in stolen bases, third in doubles, first in bases on balls. What a career for McCravey, the senior. Well, one hopper in the dirt, and the count goes even 2-2. Two, two. So McCravey hoping that her stellar career doesn't come to an end in this game. Hope to at least get one more today. If not, a pair of wins today to face Boston U tomorrow. Trying to lead off this third inning and extend Army West Point's lead. Pitch misses away, ball three, and now the count is full from Amanda Fazio. And think about this matchup, Fazio to McCravey, both are seniors. One of them sees their career end in this game. And both have been all-time greats for their respective programs, among the best. Here comes the payoff pitch. It's ripped up the middle for a base hit. Great piece of batting by McCravey, as you would expect. Got the count full. Fazio had to get it over the plate with a two-strike count against the leadoff batter, and it results in a single. Left fielder number three, May Wadika. May Wadika, now up to bat. 
Wadika is a freshman. Right around that 330 range, batting average wise. First at bat. Grounded out 3-4. This should advance the runner. This time it'll be 4-3. Speedy attempt from Wadika, but one away as McCravey heads in the scoring position. So Wadika now 0 for 2. McCravey, by the way, with that single, now Second 1 for 2 in this five, game. Ali and McCravey's now reached safely in 36 of her last 37 games and now has a hit in 37 of her last 41. In total, hits in 47 different Mason. games this season. Allie Roshenskis is now up to bat. First pitch, and that misses for a ball. Roshenskis, all Patriot League player at second base, first teamer. Came into the tournament batting 382 with 32 RBIs to earn that honor. A junior left-handed hitter. And swings at this offering out to center field. It'll fall in for a base hit. No advancement, though, as McCravey had to be held. And they'll now make it runners at first and second with one out. So Roshenskis has a hit. One for two after grounding out one three to end the first. And with that hit, Ali Roshenska, 70 on the season, becomes the fourth different player in program history. There's been one who's had it in multiple seasons, but Wynn McCravey, Alex Reynolds, and now Ali Roshenska, the four players in Army West Point program history with at least 70 hits in a single season. First pitch and a strike taken by Emily Gray. Gray was the first batter as play resumed and hit a single right up the middle. Later came in the score on a Kristen McPeak RBI triple. Fazio with the windup in the pitch. It's just swung on, has some carry out to center field, tracking back to make the catch. Rokos, runner advances to third. And there's two away. Gravy using her speed and alert base running to be one bag away. Now can score on wild pitch or passed ball. Right fielder number two, Kristen McPeak. the F8, two outs, and Kristen McPeak up to bat. Had the game's first RBI on the triple over the head of Rokos in center. Now a chance to have the first two out hit of this ball game. And the first pitch is ripped out to right field for a base hit. Did a good job to hold back on the off speed and grab the hell of it. Coming in to score, McCravey. And the score now 3-0 in favor of Army West Point. Great piece of hitting by Kristen McPeak. Again, had to just lay off a little bit on the off speed, but really did grab a hold of the pitch. RBI triple and RBI single. Oh, Gladys, uh, number 11, her Gladys day. Esparza. Gladys Esparza now up to bat. By the way, the run scored by Casey McCravey. Face it, Gladys. Her 62nd of the season. Some grass stains on that ball. Spars at the plate. One for one with an RBI single. Takes the first pitch for called strike. So as mentioned, McCravey's run the 62nd of her season. And this pitch swung on and fouled. Third base side. That is by and far the best in single season history for Army West Point. The previous high, Amanda Wynn had 48 in 2013. Pitch outside for a ball. 
So a 14 run difference between one and two now in the record books. And that is, I mean, that's bigger than two and 10. 12 run difference. Another pitch, this one outside. And after the ball, the count is even to two. Three nothing the score after a two out RBI single by Christian McPeak. Let's see if Gladys Esparza Gallegos can add to the lead. Pitch is swung on, sent out to left field with some carry, but underneath it, Midyet makes the catch, and that will retire the side. But Army West Point batting very well after a zumption of play. Run, Seven hits, hits over the last no two, two at bats. The third in this score, third, one run three, on three nothing. hits, no errors, and two left. We'll go bottom three after this break on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. West Point's captains and the Patriot League Player of the Year, Casey McCravey, exchanging Martinez. some hands with her fellow infielders as she heads over to third. Army West Point with a three nothing lead, bottom three. Cravey in the infield will try and support Renee Poire, who's done a good job before and after suspension of play. First pitch outside for a ball against Christina Martinez, the junior catcher. Let's get a strike out. Martinez batting just a bit under 200 on the season, 25 hits on the year, five doubles, one homer. Also those 19 RBIs. Here she swings over at first, is picked up in fair territory. Foot on the bag from Emily Gray, one away. So three unassisted on the ground out. And Chaylin Andalino, the junior third baseman, now up to bat. Third baseman, number 14, Chaylin Andalino. Poré, the freshman for Army West Point, could be a key cog for the rest of this weekend. First pitch, misses for a ball. This Army West Point team as a whole is not known for striking out opposing batters. Poray entered the tournament with a team high 75 strikeouts. And this pitch taken for strike two. Everything included from the BU game. The team had 170 strikeouts over 377 and two thirds innings. So a very low strikeout per inning ratio. Here, though, a swing and a miss and a two-strike count. Bore has been getting the swings and misses since resumption of play. But this is a Army West Point rotation that goes three deep. Bore, Kristen West, and Caroline Smith. Two-strike count is fouled. It was called a dead ball. Although McCravey picked it up in fair territory. West, 21 starts, Poire, 19, Smith, 16. So, not really that definitive number one option throughout the year. But it has worked out for this Army West Point team. And Poire looking for the strikeout here. The windup in the pitch misses high. For a ball and the count even 2-2. Two, two. Poré, the Patriot League Rookie of the Year. We already mentioned McCravey Player of the Year. And of course, we can't forget the Coach of the Year, leading the way for Army West Point and Michelle DiPolo in her seventh season at the helm. Here is swing and a miss. Strike three, two up, two down. Andalino goes down. Now four strikeouts, and as you can see, the polo with the 17, clipboard. Ryan Rokos. Upper right area is the Army West Point staff with the polo. You have Jesse Bryant and Gina McCool. Ryan Rokos now up to bat for Bucknell. Three nothing the score. Bottom three, bases empty, two outs. Elimination game. 
here in the Patriot League softball tournament. Rokos entering the tournament, 273 batting average. We'll try to get on base with two outs and flip the lineup over for Fazio, the pitcher. Pitch, though, misses low for a ball. And the count is even. Buck, now we mentioned the four seed. It's been a tough go in general for four seeds in Patriot League tournament history. It just swung on and fouled by Rokos. We mentioned nobody's won the championship as a four seed. Bucknell in previous outings as a four, one and five. Overall tournament record heading into this weekend, 29 and 34, Army West Point 44 and 39. A call on strike three, and another K from Poiré, who's been on fire. Able to get one, two, three innings for Bucknell, to no runs, start no hits, no runners over left the first on three. At the end of three so no innings, no hits, no errors, one left for Bucknell. Bucknell A three-nothing Army West Point lead. We'll have more after this break on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. So Army West Point, out of this for the game resumption. Again, we started in the second inning after yesterday's action began. Rain delay began at 11.33 a.m. Suspension officially ruled about three and a half hours later as the first pitch swinging, and that's just fouled down the right field line by Caroline Smith. But Army West Point, seven hits between the second and third, three runs and a three nothing lead. Whatever was said, whatever the players did over those 22 hours, they've really come to play. And obviously, if you're an Army West Point player, you know a thing or two about a daily itinerary. No, they put me to shame in that, in that regard. <laughs> and it's worked out well. 0-2 the count. Pitch is swung on the line that short. Knocked down by Gimmistad. Throw to first. Still in time. Just beat out Smith by a step. So good job at short by Anna Gimmistad. Didn't catch it cleanly, but stay composed after knocking it down. Didn't rush to throw. Mechanics were good. One away. Catcher number 26, Maddie Kim. Maddie Let's Kim go, now up to bat. Kim singled in her first at bat. Let's see if she can get a multi hit game. So far, Kristen McPeak, the only Army West Point player with a multi hit game. First pitch inside for a ball from Fazio. McPeak with her 15th multi-hit of the game. Kim at the plate has seven on the year. Off speed, that's a beauty. It falls in for a caught strike. Had nice drop to it. Kim staying patient. No, there were two strikes to give and the count is even. Fazio looking in. Wind up in the pitch. This is flared out to left field for a base hit. So now make it eight multi-hit games on the season for Maddie Kim. And she's a one-out base runner. And that was just getting enough of the bat. Not ideal contact, but also finding the right space. You know you have that nook between third short and left for it to fall in for a bloop single. And him utilizing that space perfectly. Center fielder number one, Ashley Yu. Ashley Yu now up to bat. Yu, the only Army West Point player to strike out thus far two times through the order. Corners are in, and the first pitch misses away for a ball. Army West Point has used the same 
starting nine in this lineup. In all 18 Patriot League games, they've used the same nine in the first two tourney games. Their pitch misses for a ball. So continuity in the lineup, definitely a positive. And obviously experience definitely helps out. There's a swing down a left field line, just slicing foul. That would have been extra bases and maybe a run scored if it got enough into the corner. Good piece of opposite field swinging by you, but she'll now have to try again to get on base safely. Pitch called strike two. And the count now even. So Fazio was behind in the count 2 0 as fought back to make it 2 2. Trying to limit the scoring to three runs from Army West Point. Swung on a chopper for a second. Tag applied. Flip throw to first is wide. The runner will try to advance. And now you caught in the pickle, but Ginstad dropped the ball. So with all that said, it's just a simple four unassisted fielder's choice. Certainly the scoring will not tell you the excitement of that type of play. Lineup will flip over two away, do nothing to score top four. Casey McCravey now up to bat. One for two. And in the third inning, Got a single as we're going to have a pitching change. He'll go from senior to senior. Fazio will head out to the outfield, and Dana Nielsen will head into the circle. Bucknell's had the advantage of having a one two punch, and uh, we'll get you the numbers on uh, Dana Nielsen here. Another pitcher, top 10 marks in program history. Second in games, fifth in wins, sixth in innings pitched, third in strikeouts. And you see here Nielsen, 10 and seven record, 3.26 ERA over 107 in the third innings. Decent strikeout to walk ratio, 67 to 40. Eight complete games, but here in relief for the sixth time in 2016, opponents hitting 265 against her. Again, it'll be Casey McCravey at the plate. By the way, with the third inning single, McCravey has now hit safely now in 170 Nelson, of 219 right field, five, career games. Amanda Fazio. Now batting for Army West Point, third baseman number 20, Casey amazing. McCravey. So, Nielsen will try to keep it 3 nothing. First pitch to McCravey. Misses for a ball, a bit high and in. Again, Lehigh awaits the winner of this one, elimination game. Swing and a miss by McCravey. Actually a foul tip, but it's caught either way. And the count goes even. This is the 26th Patriot League tournament. Get a base hit. Lehigh has hosted quite a few. As you see here, McCravey, league leader and on base percentage. And she fouls one away. In fact, the Lehigh Valley's hosted 24 of 26 between Patriots Park in Allentown. Kaufman Stadium here at Lehigh and now the new Leadership Park hosting its second Patriot League tournament. Two strike pitch to McCravey but an eye high pitch makes the count even. Lehigh the one seed, Army West Point the two, Boston U the three, Bucknell the four. The four teams though all within 
two and a half games in the regular season standings. Nielsen's pitch outside for ball three. You had a game between Lehigh and Boston U that did not need to be made up. So you had two teams with 17 regular season Patriot League games, two with 18. Here's a pitch. And swing right back to Nielsen. Throw over to first in time. And Nielsen retires. For all the West Point, one no three. runs, one hit, no errors. No runs, one, runner left one hit. Dominance. No errors and one left. We're halfway through. Army West Point up by three on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. You're watching coverage of the 2016 Patriot League Women's Softball Championship here on the Patriot League Network. And we can remind you that Navy and Holy Cross are the host for the 2016 Patriot League Baseball semifinal round that begins today. And you can watch the action on PatriotLeague.tv or follow the championships on the Patriot League website or Twitter at Patriot League again. PatriotLeague.tv to follow the action. Love for Bucknell, right fielder and number of course, five. The website, Amanda Fazio. PatriotLeague.org and the Twitter handle at PatriotLeague. Adam Dorovoski here as we go bottom four. Army West Point leading Bucknell 3-0. Renee Poire back in the circle for another inning of work. Ready one time through the lineup and the second will begin with Amanda Fazio. First pitch tap and picked up foul. Fazio moved from pitcher to right as Dana Nielsen replaced Carolyn Wan in that flex position. And Fazio takes the pitch outside for a ball. So Fazio pitched three and two thirds innings, allowing three earned runs on eight hits, no walks, one strikeout. Here at the plate, trying to begin the comeback. That pitch got away from Poiré. Over the head of the catcher, Kim, to the backstop and Poiré a little bit, I guess, of a nervous smile, but talking things over with her catcher and certainly look to quickly shake that off with the count 2 1. Oh, she's been pitching so well thus far. At one time, it gets away. It's not really much. Just get right back into your previous rhythm. 2-1 now, and that pitch misses low for ball three. Well, you don't want the leadoff walk. And that could open things up for Gims to the batter on deck to lay down a sacrifice and put a runner in scoring position, get two swings at chipping into the deficit. So here is the 3-1. And the pitch to one hopper right back to Poiré. Throw to first in time. And there's one away. So one three marks both Swiss times stop. retired for Fazio at the plate. Now 0 for 2. And Anna Gimstad up to bat. She struck out looking back in the first inning yesterday before play was suspended. First pitch taken for a strike. So far of the 10 batters retired for Poiré, five via the strikeout. Yeah. Nice pitch. Jim Gimstad, but was called strike two. So here the 11th batter faced for Poiré, looking for her sixth strikeout. Here comes the windup and the pitch that misses high for a ball. Oh, 
Bore has a little bit more than a handful of games with at least five strikeouts, but only two with at least six. The pitch is swung on and fouled. In her last regular season start, a complete game victory, had six strikeouts against Lafayette. Had a career high nine at Yale back on April 6th in a complete game victory. <coughs> Here's the windup and the pitch. Another tapper foul from Gimstad. And at Gimstad, the freshman has 13 doubles this season. Ranks high in single season marks in Bucknell softball history. Second most among the Bucknell freshmen all time. Most 15 from Mary Pavlovich in 2007 as this pitch swung on over to second. Range and throw to first in time. Four through the ground out. Two up, two down. Still a 3 0 lead for Army West Point. And First Megan Kovac Megan Kovac. up to bat. Kovac with 66 hits this season, ranks second in a single season. Did ground out 4 3 to end the first. Last at bat before we had the suspension of play. We mentioned Gimstad's 13 doubles. Kovac has 19 on the season. That easily broke the previous single season record of 15 shared among five different players. And with 107 total bases, unofficially it might be the best in single season Bucknell history. I don't have confirmation of that, but certainly it looked to rank high. 40 RBIs, ranks second single season. And really coming in in a big spot after Bucknell lost two of its best hitters in program history and Sidney Sanders and Kristen Zahn after last year for graduation. Kovac ahead in the count, 3-0 as Poire pitching around Kovac. Gets a quick word of encouragement from her first baseman, Gray. And we'll look back in. Comes the windup. And the pitch taken right down the middle for a strike. Kovac made the jump. 276 to 402 in batting average, 1 to 6 in homers, 29 to 40 in RBI. Freshman to sophomore season. The New Jersey native at the plate. Waits a 3 1 pitch, and that misses low for ball four. Poré had retired the first 11 batters faced in this game. And a two out base runner via the walk as Lauren Hadley now up to bat. Second baseman, number four, Lauren Hadley. Hadley, first time up, struck out swinging. Jorge, the windup, and the pitch, a swing and a miss, strike one. Well, there's been one perfect game in Patriot League softball tournament history. That was from a Boston U pitcher. As here the pitch swung on, should be a force at second. It'll be flipped 6-4 as it goes Esparza to Roshenskis to end the inning. Two out walking, nothing no more for no Renee Poiré no in the circle. Base. No runs, no hits, innings, no errors, Army one left for Bucknell. We are through four, Army West Point leading three nothing on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. So here we go, as you can see, home of champions here at Leadership Park as Lehigh by and far the most decorated softball program in the Army Patriot West League Point. since its inception in 1991. And obviously here, and the 2015-2016 academic year celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Patriot League. And here on the Patriot League Network for softball tournament action. 
First pitch from Dana Nielsen to May Wadika misses for a ball. 3-0 Army West Point leads. Wadika 0 for 2. By the way, did want to follow through on that. Note about the perfect game. I believe it was in 2010 as a called strike to Wadika. Came in tournament action, and that's always a tough thing to do. You've only seen it once in World Series action in the MLB. Nice swing from Wadika, but good charge by Midget at left, and there's one away. So Dana Nielsen retiring the first two Second batters baseman, she's number seen. Five, Ali Roshenskis. And Ali Roshenskis is now up to bat. First pitch misses for a ball. I stand corrected on the perfect game now. I'm, th I'm thinking Boston, yeah, they, they weren't even in the Patriot League uh, back in 2010. I'll, I'll check on that. I know there was one. We'll get that rectified for you. Pitch misses high here from Nielsen. Allie Roshenskis at the plate. Facing a 1-1 count, now 2-1 after the ball. Roshenskis, one for two, single, and ground out, one, three. Look, a pitch inside, gets out of the way. Now ahead in the count, 3-1. Again, one of four different players in Army single season history. At least 70 hits, and you see leading the way in the Patriot League in batting average. 414. And here it takes the ball for it. It was Elisa Sweeney make that 2006 who had the lone perfect game in Patriot League tournament history. So we thank the great staff here at Lehigh for number 14, Emily getting Green. that sorted out for me. Now you have the note mentally in your head and then somehow it eludes you. And that's an EB here on the broadcaster. One out walk. Right now up to bat, one for two with a single. Emily Gray. Dryable cog. And the heart of this lineup and the cleanup position takes the first pitch for a ball. And a Nielsen pitch in the hole at short. Nice range by Gimstad. Lead throw at second in time to retire Ashenskis. Fielder's choice goes 6 4, and there's two away here in the top of the fifth. 3 0 the score in favor of Army West Point. Here comes up to bat Kristen McPeak, who's been very efficient at the plate. RBI triple to score runner from first. RBI single to score runner from third. The latter of the two came with two outs. And now, Reshenskis retired. Gray getting on base. Gray. Well, now running at first base for Army West Point, number 18, Haley Meggie. Before re-entering, perhaps, says Haley Now batting the right fielder, Maggie, number two, Kristen The pinch runner. Meggie, a sophomore. And on the season, five for six stolen bases for attempts. 11 runs scored and 33 games as a reserve. And here at the plate, first pitch taken for a ball by McPeak. 
Come on, we need a base hit. So certainly that batting average going up for McPeak after the two hit game. Another pitch misses. By Nielsen. Bucknell still with three team at bats to try to make up a three nothing deficit as pitch has popped up, giving Chase running out of room, the third baseman and Andalino. Our meet West Point certainly know how it feels as the Black Knights were down three nothing heading into its final three team at bats against BU. The Black Knights scored a run in the fifth, one in the sixth, did not score in the seventh as Melanie Russell and the Terriers got the 3-2 win in the first round of action to send Army West Point to this elimination game. Obviously for Bucknell, there were no more chances left after this as a pitch high from Nielsen. Down is 2-1 and a timeout called as a meeting between Martinez and Nielsen in the circle. Still has been a good year for whoever takes a loss and is sent home. Bucknell with its 11th winning season. Fourth most wins in a single season. Let's get a base hit. Army West Point. Again, their regular season record in wins. Nice shot, but in range and left. And it's caught by mid yet to end the inning, and Kristen McPeak retired for the no first runs, time no hits. One runner left this on morning. For Army West Point, no runs, no hits, no errors. One left will go bottom five after this break on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. And now to the bottom of the fifth inning. As Renee Pouré in the circle for another inning of work. Retired the first 11 batter she saw. First pitch goes right back to her on the swing from Mariah Midget. And there's one away just like that. Pouré did concede two at walk in the fourth to Megan Kovac. Designated player Again, number 10, Lisa J.C. Sweeney. Almond. In 2006 for Lehigh, who had the lone perfect game in Patriot League tournament history. Now Lisa Van Ackerman, head coach of Princeton softball. Again, we thank the Lehigh staff here for more of the background on that. As but yet retired now, J.C. Allman up. First pitch swing and a miss for a strike. Poré still doing very well, has now retired 13 of 14 batters faced. Here's a slow roller to second with some charge. Throw to first will be just in time to beat out Almond. The DP, if you had one of those slappy, uh, slapping lefty hitters, very likely is a single and a one out base runner. But instead, two up, two down on the 4 3 ground out. So you have 1 3, 4 3, and just three pitches for pinch Lene hitting for Bucknell, number 20, Jacqueline Tyberg. And we'll have a pinch hitter here, two outs, bottom fifth, as Jacqueline Tyberg up to bat. Tyberg, a right handed hitting junior. Three of 26 at the plate this season with a pair of doubles. So overall, 115 batting average. First pitch. Swing and a miss for a strike. Renee Poire in such good command. Hoping for her fourth one, two, three inning. Called strike two, now ahead in the count. 0-2. Oh, Bucknell still is yet to score in this tournament. 
suffered a tough one nothing loss in the tournament's first game against the Lehigh. It was Mountain Hawks' eighth victory in its last team at bat of the season. Pitch high here. Amanda Fazio had the complete game loss in that game, her sixth loss. Pitching a complete game allowing just one or two runs. And that just shows you how tough it can be sometimes to be a pitcher in softball. You can do so well, but it might be that one play that's a difference. That's it. Air nice. foul tip, caught strike three. And now for Pure, six strikeouts. On the morning, Bucknell, no runs, no hits, no two, runners three. left on base. The Bison go down in the score, order. Army West Point and three, the Bison and still trail nothing. three nothing. The score through five on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. Fans can purchase Patriot League merchandise and championship apparel at the Patriot League store. Every Patriot League school's merchandise is also available at PatriotLeagueStore.com. Again, PatriotLeagueStore.com. Short stop number eleven. You're watching of the 2016. <laughs> Patriot League Softball Championship Tournament. Adam Dorowalski here, thanking you so much for tuning in. And of course, thanks to Lehigh University and its sports information staff for hosting this tournament here at Leadership Park. Dana Nielsen came in relief for Dana Fazio in the circle for another inning of work. And the first pitch is outside to Gladys Esparza. Esparza Gallegos with a one for two day with an RBI single. Takes a straight call from Nielsen. The score is three nothing. And Bucknell now down to two team at bats. Needing three outs to keep its season alive. Pitch misses for a ball. Seven teams in the Patriot League and definitely a fitting top four for this tournament. Between average slugging, on base percentage, stolen base, fielding percentage, ERA, and batting average allowed as this pitch is swung on and flared over to short, grabbed by Gimnestad at P6 for Esparza Gallego swung away. But among those seven team categories, in six of them, these four Designated teams rank in the top four. The only Caroline difference, Smith. fielding percentage in the regular season, Army West Point was fifth, Lehigh first, BU second, Bucknell third. But every other one of those major team categories, the four teams made up the top four. First pitch swinging and a foul by Caroline Smith, who's 0 for 2 today. Among these two teams in particular, Army had the best regular season batting average, 311. First in stolen bases with 89. Also ranking second on base percentage, 374, and ERA, 2.57. Eric called strike in a favorable count for the pitcher, Dana Nielsen, 02. Bucknell's best team ranked second in slugging in the regular season at 390. Nielsen looking in, the windup in the 0-2 pitch, swung on a one hopper over at second, nice defense by Hadley. And the throw over to first in time, 4-3 the ground out. Two up, two down. Bucknell looking for its first one, two, three inning defensively since the first. Army West Point leading 3-0. Catcher number 26, Maddie Kim. Maddie Kim up to bat. Kim with a pair of singles and as many at-bats. First pitch, this is high for a ball. Well, certainly the senior Dana Nielsen doing her best to keep her career alive. Army West Point has Leave two seniors on its roster. It is a called strike from Nielsen. Casey McCravey and Hannah Razi. Bucknell's seniors have a handful of them. There's a the pitch. That's a rip foul on a prize pitch that 
Kim was way ahead of two straight count coming up. Lauren Swindell, Amanda Fazio, Mariah Midyet, Cindy Chernis, and Dana Nielsen, the seniors for the Bison. Are their first year head coach, Courtney Foster. That was a pitch that misses low. And the count is even 2 2. <laughs> Always a bittersweet time of the year if you're a neutral fan. If you're a fan of the winner, unbridled joy. And obviously, if you're a fan of the team that has to go home, it is sorrow. 2-2 two, two the count, two outs, bases empty, top six. Pitch from Nielsen, swing on over to third. It'll be across the diamond, 5-3, tag applied as well to make sure the out is secured as he goes from Andalino to Kovac. Army West Point goes down in order, 1-2-3. We'll go bottom six after this break as a score 3-0 in favor of the Black Knights on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. Bucknell was the runner-up in each of the previous two Patriot League softball championship tournaments, but here could be two and done if they don't get three runs at least in the last two innings. First pitch to Chaylin Andalino taking for a strike as Renee Poire and Army West Point up 3-0. Poire thus far has just allowed a two-out walk in the fourth. Has retired every other batter. So trying to keep her outing going as hoping for something. And the pitch swung on and fouled. Count goes 0-2. In the regular season, Army West Point took two of three in Lewisburg. The first game was a 1-0 Bucknell win in nine innings. After that, Army West Point took game two, 9-3, and then the rubber match on the Sunday game, 5-1. They've carried that over. Pitch just popped up, called for, and caught at first. Emily Gray secures the catch, one away. So P3 and Renee Poire. Center fielder, number 17, so far Ryan has retired Rokos. 16 of 17 batters. Again, just a walk to Megan Kovac. And Rokos snap up to bat. Rokos struck out looking in her first at bat. First pitch misses away for a ball. Army West Point can hold. Get the last five outs it needs to secure victory. They will play right away against Lehigh. An elimination game again. Pitch misses inside. A bit tight for ball two. Corners will be ready. Lefty slap style hitter. a pitch, takes a chop at it and a miss, strike one. Again, there was a slow roller on the J.C. Allman at bat in the fifth. That was a 4-3 ground out that had a player like Rokos, who was here a lefty instead of Allman the righty, could have had a single. Closest thing to a Bucknell hit as the 2-1 pitch misses away, ball three. The Bison will take a base runner any which way they can. Try to get a rally started here. Down to its final five outs. Need three runs. Pore, the Patriot League Rookie of the Year. With the windup in the 3-1 pitch. Two hopper over to third. Quick throw by McCravey. Boston Diamond, 5-3, the ground out. Two up, two down. Three nothing, still the score. Right fielder, number five, Amanda Fazio. Amanda Fazio now up to bat. Fazio 0 for 2 with a pair of 1-3 ground outs. First pitch. Goes back on a butt. Now 
as Wano. Poray stepping in. Let's wind up in the pitch. Just a swing on sent out to right field, but in range to be caught. And that, ladies and gentlemen, just the second air out reported by Poray. And the, the Army defense in the first into the outfield. That is the first play into the outfield. Uh, actually, the third air out. There was a liner to uh, third on a media at bat, but it's a one, two, three inning for Bucknell. We'll head off to break. Top seven coming up. Army West Point up three nothing on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. And retiring now, 18 of 19 batters faced with just a walk. Army West Point in control, but they will still look to add to their lead. There's still a chance for a Bucknell rally. Top seven, three nothing to score. First pitch to Ashley Yu, misses for her ball. Dana Nielsen in relief has fared quite well in her own right, retiring seven of eight batters with just the walk. So that Army West Point offense that was seeing Amanda Fazio very well has quieted down. Now a pitch a strike as you 0 for 2 at the plate. Strikeout and fielder's choice. 9-1-2 the bash for Army West Point. And this is swung on out to left, mid yet. Routine catch, one away. So Renee Poray, those 18 outs thus far. You have six strikeouts. Nine Third base round outs, three, three, three air outs. So the three air outs, a line out to third, a pop out to first, and then that last at bat for Fazio, the F9. That's the only, only play so far that Bucknell's had go to the outfield at the plate. So the lineup flips over here to Casey McCravey. First pitch is a strike from Dana Nielsen. Patriot League Player of the Year, McCravey, one for three. And took a rip at this rising fastball. It's fouled. Count is now 0-2. Back to back, single season record setter in total bases, Casey McCravey. Is outside for a ball. You're really starting to see, I think, in recent years how much offensive play has expanded in collegiate softball as a whole. And Megan Kovac and Casey McCravey, two of the best sluggers single season wise in their respective schools' history. Here, though, McCravey takes a call at strike three on the outside corner, and there's two up, two down for Dana Nielsen. Three nothing still to score. So McCravey one for four. Left fielder number three, May Wadika. May Wadika up to bat. Wadika 0 for three. Freshman lefty hitter. Due up for Bucknell, last chance, two, three, four, Gims, Tad, Kovac, Hadley, if there's any hope of a rally, well, that's a pretty good spot if you're a Bison fan. First pitch. This is for a ball. Obviously, Renee Poire has history on the line going into the bottom of the seventh as this pitch swung on out to left field and mid yet. Makes the catch near the foul line. It's a one, two, three inning for Army West Point. Army so we'll West head Point. off no to runs, a break. No one, no two, runs three, left three, three nothing to score. Bottom seven history and seasons on the line. After this break on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. Three nothing to score. Bottom seven, last chance for Bucknell. Needing three runs to keep its season alive as Renee Poire. So far has just walked one batter, has retired the other 18 batters faced, going bottom seven. First pitch swinging and a foul by Anna Gimstad. 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out. So a lot on the line here, to say the least. Final half inning, perhaps, of this game. Winner 
will face Lehigh. And the next game, and the loser heads home. 0-1 the count, the lineup, and the pitch misses high for a ball. Moore, the freshman, has a pair of shutouts this season. That drop pitch just missed, and the count goes 2-1. Yet trying to be the first leadoff runner to reach safely against Pore. Pore's shutouts. I see one against Siena. And one against Holy Cross. Called strike two. And now the count even from Pore to Gimstad. Freshman to freshman, 2-2. Two, two. Taking a deep breath. Poor A knows what's on the line. The lineup and a 2 2 pitch swung on. Off the glove of McCravey. Over to short. There won't be a throw. Let's see how that's ruled as the leadoff runner is on. Leadoff runner on. That is obviously, in terms of winner loser outcome, the most important thing, but we want to see how that is scored. And I know I would not want to be in the scorer's position right now. Oh, boy. So Gimstad's on, Megan, Megan Kovac, Kovac up to bat. Comes the lineup in, the first pitch offering called strike one. There's some deliberation. That's a hit or an error at third. Poiré looking in. Kovac reaches, game time run to the plate as the pitch misses away for a ball. Well, we know Gimstead has her third at bat in the books. She's at First, Kovac has a 1 1 count and a call at strike two. It's a two strike count. Strike out, Renee. has six Ks this morning and yesterday included, of course. Pitch though misses outside for ball two. Four Ks swinging to looking. Kovac, by the way, 0 for 1, ground out and walk. Kovac, the first base runner. Gimstead at first, the second. They do have an official ruling, but first, very swing and a foul. So as it is right now, the official ruling a single for Anna Gimstad. And there was a lot of deliberation over that. So as of right now, it's the first hit of the game for Bucknell. And, and I tell you that I guess the rain kind of knocked out the scoreboard here at Leadership Park for the time being. That's not up. And, well, there's really no other way to put it, but I'm sure that makes it a lot easier to score without fans knowing here at Leadership Park what the ruling is. This pitch is swung on down the right field line and fair. I guess it doesn't matter. That'll be extra bases. And there's a chance to score a run, but the runner will be held at third. So Gimstad with the single, Kovac with the double to start off this inning of the game time run at the plate. So either way, hit or error doesn't matter. And we can finally say that the no hitter is broken. We waited, we waited, and Megan Kovac with her 
program best 20th double of the season. Now has things cooking for Bucknell. And you had Foray have a no hitter through six innings in this game. The first game of this second round, game three, Melanie Russell for BU. Now running at second base. Had a no no Bucknell, through six nine, and a third. Gutkin. That was broken up on an RBI double by Lehigh, then an RBI single scored a second run. So this rally is certainly a possibility. And I think Army West Point knows. They're having a discussion here in the circle. That was a great piece of hitting by Kovac. And again, with now 20 doubles on the season, you get a sense of exactly what she can do at the plate. Bucknell, their fans trying to get the rally started. And up to the plate, the freshman Lauren Hadley. Bore with the windup and the pitch. And that first offering just missed for a ball. I guess it missed low. Swing, doesn't matter, it's a strike anyway. Second baseman number four, Lauren Hadley. So the most doubles in a single season in Patriot League history came from Lehigh's Julie Fernandez in 2012 with 22. Lehigh's Liz Lucas had 21 in 2011. As this pitch swung on, they're gonna go home, tag apply, and the runner's safe. Score now throw to first and Hadley back safely as well. That was a bang bang play. And now still nobody out in the score of 3 1. They easily could have taken the out at first and let it be 3 1. And that's always, you know, the interesting decision. That's why it's called a fielder's choice. And that was definitely a bang bang play at the plate, Michelle DiPolo will talk things over with the home plate umpire. Clear judgment call. I don't think this one's going to be overturned. And that's that's the thing. I mean, when it's a judgment call like that, at least my theory is you tend to trust the umpire that's right there. Obviously, we'll have the benefit of replay. You can, of course, check out Patriot League on demand videos at patriotleague.tv. And maybe we'll see something differently. But that's just, just a bang bang play at home. And the choice was made, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And all you can do now, Left if fielder, you're number 19, an Army West Ryan Point Midian. fan, is still know you're up by two, needing three outs. Game tying run though is now on the base paths, and one swing could win it for Bucknell. Mariah Midyet up to bat. Midyet has one home run this season. I believe the home run came in Easton at Lafayette, if I recall correctly. But Midyet a senior and really no better way for her to keep her career going. First pitch runner goes. They're gonna throw to second, and it's just gonna be cut off anyway. Stolen base for Hadley, and the game tying run is now in scoring position. And see again, that's the key where the fielder's choice happens. If you get the out at first, you know a run comes in to score, you know that the game time run stays at the plate. You go home, you get the out, it stays a three nothing lead. Obviously, if you don't get the out, then you're in trouble as this pitch is fouled down the right field line. There's one swing now from Ty. And again, when it's the fielder's choice, you're going for either the safe play or the more aggressive play. 
There's a good argument behind either choice. So here we are, 1-1 one, one the count. Game tying run at second, 3-1 score. The pitch from Poiré is swung on out to right field, but will be caught. They're gonna send the runner home. Here comes the throw, tag applied, and that'll be called safe. And the score, 3-2. And that was a even tougher call at home because the slide wasn't exactly clean. You kind of saw the hand reach out, and Kovac coming home kind of had, I guess, the, the lower abdominal to hip area on the ground. The rest of the body was up. And the question is, when the tag was applied, where was her hand? And now there's one away. Three to the score on the sacrifice fly F9 by Midyet. And Hadley's at third. Back to back, bang bang plays at the plate. And certainly, it adds to the drama of this inning. We'll have another meeting at the mound. At the circle, excuse me. Boy, oh boy, it's been a tough go. And I think both times, there's some internal mental Designated deliberation from Danny 10, Wolf. JC Almond. So now, is it safe? Boy, hey, it is very dramatic here. JC Almond now up. Strikeout and ground out, and now we're gonna have the umpires talk things over and Well, it was quick, but certainly gives us a little time to rack in our minds all that's happened in this seventh inning. You had Poré entering the inning with a no-hitter. Tough call between hit and error at third to lead off the inning. A double that definitively took away the no-hitter. Fielder's choice, bang, bang, play at the plate. Sacrifice, fly, bang, bang, play at the plate. Both have been square runs. Called safe at home. And the first pitch is a ball from Poré to Almond. And again, that's how softball can go. Sometimes it's just that step here or step there that makes a difference. This pitch is swung on and popped up. Foul territory, first base side, and out of play. Well, if things end as is or on a home run in this at bat, it would be the third one run game in four Patriot League tournament games this year. Pretty crazy. 1 1 the count. 4 A back in the circle. A lineup in the pitch infield in. Which misses ball two. They are ready for a play at the plate. And if there's another play at the plate, Army hoping that third time is the charm. Bore definitely taking time, trying to keep herself mindful of the task at hand. Drop pitch didn't have enough drop, and it's a ball. And one more ball, the game-winning run is on the base paths. He's gonna be looking! Nobody has yet pinch ran for Almond, so keep that in mind. 3-1 the count, the windup in the pitch. This is swung on and fouled, and now we have a full count coming up. A strikeout means the infield doesn't have to stay in. It means now at first would end the game and give Army West Point a victory. A ball puts the game winning run on the base pads. Foray again looking in, Almond at the plate. A lineup in the payoff pitch, swung on and tapped foul, we'll try again. All the drama here of an elimination game and seven seniors between the two teams hoping that this game is not their last. Yeah. 
Foray. Trying to get her mind cleared. Back on the circle, wind up and pitch. Swung yeah, on and popped up. They'll have some carries staying in the infield, calling for it for Shenskis at second, makes the catch just a bit. Left of the bag, third base side to secure the catch, and there are now two outs on the P4. Three to the score, runner at third, bottom seven. Last out for Bucknell. And Christina Martinez. Catcher number junior. 13, Christina Martinez. Martinez 0 for 1. Pinch hitter last time that struck out for Martinez. Jorge looking in. The windup and the pitch misses outside for a ball. The Lehigh players have been waiting beyond the 200 foot right field fence. They've pretty much been standing and watching this one. I'm sure that they're eager to get their game underway and obviously hawking the outcome of this one, pun intended. Pitcher swung on, two hopper at first, knocked down, Gray picks it up, tag applied on the bag, ball game over, and Army West Point survives and advances to game five of this Patriot League tournament. Final score, Army West Point three, Bucknell two. And for the Black Knights, a new single Bucknell, season program two record two with their 38th victory of the season. 38 and 19 on the year. For Bucknell, for Army West Point, three runs, runs eight hits, hits, no errors, five runners end. left on base. For Bucknell, two runs, and two hits, one error, Boy, two runners really left on base. A splendid one Winning here, and it came Renee down Moray. with the game tying run Losing left that third of a one run game. From a neutral standpoint, definitely with the, the most you could ask for, especially with the no the hitter game, on the line the heading point against the bottom of the seventh. Thirty minutes. Bucknell really did give their best rally to make this a game, but obviously for the Army West Point fans, they are happy. They have one more game left. They'll be right back in action against Lehigh with Steve Lomangino taking the helm here in just a bit, but obviously uh, for the Bucknell fans and especially uh, for the seniors and their families, you feel for them. Uh, definitely great four-year careers, uh, but they will unfortunately come to an end here. The winning pitcher for Army West Point, Renee Pore, her 10th consecutive decision leading to victory, 10 and five on the season, a complete game, two hitter, two runs allowed and had a no-hitter through six innings. The loss will go to Amanda Fazio. She'll finish the season 15 and 12, and for her career again, she finishes second in program history and wins with 48. Uh, but the, for the senior and uh, for Dana Nielsen, who came in relief, another senior, two of the five Bucknell seniors, uh, again, their season's coming to an end. So I uh, do want to give our best to Amanda Fazio, Mariah Vignette, Lauren Swindell, Sydney Chernis, and Dana Nielsen. But here for Army West Point, they will be facing Lehigh, and I believe the first pitch will be slated for roughly around noon, and we'll have it right here on the Patriot League Network again with Steve Lomangino taking over the helm. That will be another elimination game. The winner of that will face Boston U for the championship series tomorrow. So until next time, this is Adam Dobrovolski signing off. Army West Point got some early offense after the game suspension resumed at the top of the second. They scored three runs between the second and third and hold on to win 3-2.